What's going on everybody? Joshua Latou and I'm back with another video. As you can see I got my mask on. So I went over to Food for Less to do some shopping and uh, walked into the door and the workers were outside making sure that people had masks before uh, they went into the store. So I went in there and they said, uh, do you have a mask? And I said, no. And they said, do you have anything to cover your face? And I said, no. And so they offered me this mask right here and for that, I am grateful. All right, let's get to the video. This video, guys, is going to be about a good friend of mine who's residing in the epicenter of the coronavirus, Wuhan, China. Well, this good friend of mine is a student over in China from Tonga, and, uh, and this is his story. I think they've lifted the lockdown for Wuhan, China, and I believe it was, I believe it was lifted on the 8th of this month, April. To all my Pacific Islanders and Polynesians out there, if you guys didn't know, there's been a hell of a ton of Pacific Islanders going over to uh, China for further studies. Hang on guys, I broke my mask. It's, it's not that I have a big head, it's just, it's, it's weak. The, uh, the plastic is weak. I met my good friend over in Beijing, China when I was over there uh, for school purposes as well. And now he's in Wuhan and he's gonna tell you a little bit about his story uh, during his quarantine over at Wuhan, China. Check it out. Hey folks, uh, this is Kava. I'm currently in Wuhan, China. And I have been in China for over 12 years now. And this would be my first year here in Wuhan. And I have spent most of my time in Beijing. And I just moved to Wuhan last year in September. I'm a master's student here at the Wuhan Sports University. And this would be my first year. And I got two more years to go. So during the outbreak, I decided to stay behind. I wanted to stay because I wanted to. And for other reasons, were my thoughts were with everyone at home in hoping that the virus will not get there. Uh, knowing the resources that Tonga has, uh, we can only do not so much. And also, my school has been amazing throughout this time uh, in helping us and making things easier for us. So me staying would show them appreciation and grateful and trust in them for what they have done for me. This is just outside our campus. As you can see, there are a few vehicles already on the road. As the lockdown will be lifted soon, uh, more vehicle is going to be on the road. Uh, we'll talk about a few things that happened during the lockdown over while I make food. So we have been on lockdown since January 23rd and the lockdown will be lifted on April 8th for Wuhan. For the first few weeks of the lockdown, I wasn't sure what I was doing. Um, because it was a whole new routine, I'm usually pretty active, but because of the new routine, uh, everything were limited. But when the time passed by, I got used to it. Um, I have been having few online classes. Other than that, pretty much the same routine every day. Um, there are six of us who are still here, and everyone else have evacuated to their home country. Um, for the six of us, we would go and uh, help out to deliver food to all the old people. And also, I did some security work uh, during the weeks. Um, it was five hours, some uh, ten hours long. But I enjoy uh, knowing that I just help out whenever I can. And that would make my day. And yeah, that's about it. It has been a few weeks where the doctors who have been here helping out during the outbreak have returned to their cities and everyone were lining on the road to welcome them home. Also on April 4th, the whole nation were mourning those who passed away during the outbreak. And yeah, that's pretty much lunch dinner for me. And this is how the doctors were welcoming home. Yes. <laughs> 
And this video shows how the nation were mourning those who passed away during the outbreak. That's pretty much it from my side. I hope you enjoyed the video and so love to see you. Thank you for having me on this video, man. Really appreciate it. I hope I didn't disappoint you. Also, shout out to the Tongan Embassy in Beijing. Uh, thank you guys for always checking on me. And also the Tongan government in Tonga. Uh, thank you guys for all the help that you have given us uh, who are still here in, in China. Thank you very much, my lot of people. Lastly, to friends and families, uh, thank you guys for always uh, dropping me a message. Uh, really meant a lot. And don't worry about me. You guys know I was born for this. Of Atu. Big thanks goes to you, Gawa, for making this video happen and sharing your story. And also for having the courage to do what you did, uh, which I know helped uh, the containment of this virus uh, over in our little island country, the Kingdom of Tonga. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below what you guys think. And thanks for tuning in. Once again, this is Joshua Latou. And that is it for this video. I will see you on the next video. Peace out, guys.